in my last video, we looked at uh, transformation animation in Titanium, especially scale, scale and rotate, where I rotated this uh, red a box 45 degrees and at the same time I scaled it so that it gets bigger by 1.5 so if I click on this button there we go now uh, once this uh, scaling and rotating completes I actually want this to automatically go back into its original uh, size and angle and for example if I actually move this somewhere else I want it to go back to its original position and so on now uh, in this video we are going to be adding a bit of code into our event listener for our button in order to in order for our red box to automatically do that so it's going to be like a one a full animation cycle where it starts getting bigger and rotating and then it's going to go back to its original uh, size and angle so I am going to de not delete I'm going to stop my uh, simulator for now there we go and uh, if you haven't been following my uh, video for my last two episodes where I look talk about all the uh, titanium animation please do because it's the con I'm continuing my uh, what do you call it app.js coding from over there so I am going to go to my uh, Add event listener form button and continue coding from here now inside my event listener we are actually going to be adding another event listener this is because we want to listen to uh, when this view animate finishes so this is going to create this animation where it transforms uh, the red box with a scale of 1.5 and rotation of 45 degrees and it's going to do that in uh, 1000 milliseconds or one second now we are going to create an event listener to do something when that uh, view animate has completed so let's say uh, view animate dot add event listener and we are going to be listening to complete okay so uh, whoops not complete complete Ah, oh, so many typos. There you go, at last. Okay, so inside our uh, event listener, let's actually, once uh, this animation is completed, let's change our background color of our window to something else. This is so that you can, uh, it's visually, you can visually see that uh, the view animate has finished and this view animate dot add event listener has actually uh, what you call it executed the code inside so we are going to change win dot background color to uh, what's a good color I like silver because it's originally white so I want to change it to c0 c oops I'm writing it the wrong place c0 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 okay and let's actually start coding so that we can uh, put all the scale and rotation back to its hmm, to its original state so we can put our red box back to its original state now uh, inside our uh, event add event listener for our view animate we are going to be creating another uh, tie.ui.create2d matrix and let's say var uh, how should we say it Let's just use an no. Let's uh, view transform back. Oh do. We are going to be creating a variable called view transform back. It's a bit long, but oh well. Equals tie. Oops. Tie dot ui dot uh, create two d matrix. Okay, and we are going to uh, let's just copy these two because the code is actually similar. Uh, indent it one more and then make sure that we change the variable the name back name from view transform to view transform back for all here like so lost no space and we are going to put the scale to uh, one and we are going to rotate this to zero so we want this to go back to the original uh, angle which is zero degrees and we want to scale it back to one one or 1 1.0 okay and we are going to be creating another uh, animation so var view animate back 
equals tie.ui.create animation. So what we're doing is a replicating, replicating or rewriting what we did, uh, what we wrote to transform or to animate our red box to that state, which is scale 1.5 and rotate 45, but in a backwards, uh, or not order, but in what do you call it, the opposite way. So that in this, when we want to put it back, we are going to say scale to one and rotate to zero. Okay, so uh, create animation and what do we want to do? Let's say uh, transform view transform back nope yep and duration is uh let's say 1.5 seconds so 1500 milliseconds and that's about it okay and lastly don't forget inside your event listener for view animate to say uh view dot animate and what we want to do is add view animate back like so uh, once that's done i'm going to save my app.js and run my iphone simulator oops before that apparently there's uh an error oh yeah i forgot to have the comma over here so after the complete comma and then i also forgot the semicolon at the end there we go all problems solved yep and now I'm going to run my iPhone simulator. So my app has loaded with my uh, nice red box and a white background. Once I press this move, which actually doesn't move the red box, it actually transforms it. Oh well, I'm not going to change the text because I can't be bothered. Uh, once I click on this button, what it's going to do is it's going to take one second to rotate this box 45 degrees and scale it to 1.5 and then after that it's going to take 1.5 seconds to uh, put it back to its original size and angle. So hopefully I've written all my codes correctly and it's going to work fine. Oh yeah, and don't forget the background color is going to change too. So there we go. That looks cool, isn't it? doesn't it? Yep, it's working fine. Nice. Uh, in my tutorial two videos back, I did translation where I moved this up uh, about 40 pixels or something. If you do the same thing using Advent Listener for a complete with a view animate or whatever uh, variable your name was for your create animation, you can actually do that. And then once uh, it's completed going uh, top 40 pixels you can actually put it back to its original position there it's just the same thing just uh, changing your code slightly from uh, transformation to translation so uh, that's it for uh, titanium animation I think I'll be doing a titanium anim animation for now I think I'll do a couple of videos more on animations because they're really fun to watch and do rather than like adding uh, new tables, writing 20 lines of code to add new tables and stuff. These animations are far more uh, visually, aesthetically pleasing, visually stimulating, whatever you want to call it. It's fun. So yeah, thanks for watching and I'll see you guys later.